Hi, this is Dark Shades without the shades, and um, I was just wondering. Um, I'm not even going to give this video a title because I'm not even sure where it's going. But I was just wondering, have you ever um, received compliments or somebody saying something really good about you? And you're kind of like, are they talking about me? There's a part within you that feels that whatever nice things people are saying about you, it's not genuine. You have that kind of um, low self-esteem that does not allow any allow you to believe that anybody can see any good in you. Now I'm not quite sure um, if you can relate to this but I know a lot of people and myself included who've been in situations where people have said you know you are great, you are fantastic, you're confident, you're my role model and yet deep inside there's something that's telling me, I'll say me, that they're talking about somebody else. Now I think there's a little voice sometimes that seeps in when you're growing up and you don't know how it takes hold of your thinking process. And sometimes when that little voice rears its, its ugly head, you can't really stop it in time. So instead, it goes back in and it reinforces itself and it reinforces itself. And you end up actually believing that what people are saying about you just isn't true. Because you have your own standard and you've set an unrealistic standard to meet. Like for me, for me to be everything that people say I am, I would have to have met so many expectations that I haven't met. So as a result, I kind of disbelieve. I disbelieve compliments. I disbelieve if somebody says they love me. I disbelieve if somebody says they care about me. I disbelieve it because I'm thinking to myself, yeah, you're just having a laugh. You're just taking the mick. It's weird, you know, when you have childhood experiences that affect you as an adult. And you know what's great about the journey of self-development is that until a certain point, you'll, you won't know what it is that is making you think the way you do. But when you decide to self-evaluate your thinking patterns, and you go in your into yourself and start working out why why you make decisions, why you make choices, why you do what you do. Then you realise you can trace it back and see what it was in your past that has made you be the person you are. So there's always something that's going to be the trigger for your behaviour in your current lives. You know, a lot of people say you don't hold on to the past, you think about the present. They call it mindfulness. And while other people say without knowing your past, you can't deal with the present and you can't make a future. But I think the, the, the main thing here is, is that you are aware of your past. You know the consequences of what happened in your past. You know why it makes you behave the way you do, but you don't judge yourself for it. You're able to put things into perspective and see that whatever happened back then doesn't have to affect you now. Once you make that realisation, you don't have to worry anymore about your appearance, about your self-perception, because you know you're good enough. And you know that you can accept what others have to give and you're able to give yourself to others. And it's an amazing transition and when you make that transition it's like your eyes have been opened for the first time. I remember I was doing uh, an emotional intelligence diploma and it took me through a journey of my beliefs, what I'd been told, what I believed and how it impacted me now. And it's amazing all the negative messages I was told as a child that I'd internalised and believed. 
and then they'll you know in the final part they'll say what is the evidence of those beliefs and I had to seek evidence to see what those negative messages were to see if they were true and when I was seeking evidence there wasn't any the only evidence I could find was evidence of a positive and productive and relatively successful woman so we have to be careful about thinking and all I want to say is for those of you who haven't had the most wonderful upbringing it doesn't mean it's the end of the world it doesn't mean that you have to be held down it doesn't mean that you can't be successful it doesn't mean that you have to be you know on drugs or a prostitute or anything negative it just means that you have to be aware acknowledge and you know address those issues as and when they come up and you can be a whole person again so i hope this has been helpful this is Dark Shades, over and out.